starting a business at 18 um, mm-hmm. is super rare. Yeah. What gave you the motivation or the idea to start your own company before? Even yeah. Worked? Yeah. You know, I left home when I was 15. And so I sort of was already making a way for myself. And I worked at a few restaurants and a few, you know, and the one thing that I noticed is, is that everywhere I went, I had a different level of motivation than the other people that were there, like including the general managers or whoever I was reporting into. I just had a different level. And, and so leaning into that, starting my own company is what legitimately made sense for me because finally I was like, oh, this is how this is supposed to work. (laughs) This level of excellence, this level of, of, of drive, this is where this is supposed to be. And I was never going to find that in any type of corporate America or anything of that nature where people just kind of show up at work, clock in, do what they do. And really what they want to do is get home. For me, I wanted whatever I did all day long for me to enjoy that. Okay. Why did you leave home when you were 15? I grew up in a really, I'd say religious household uh, would be the the proper way to put it. And it just didn't work for me. That is, I, I, it just, I just wasn't built for that. So, okay. you know, if you, if you brought a scripture to me, not even a scripture, if you had some particular type of belief, I was going to challenge that belief because I need you to back it up for me. And as a kid, that doesn't necessarily work out if you have authoritarian parents, which most black kids have authoritarian parents. And everything, it was like, well, you should do that. You need to do this. Why? Like I had a why. I was the why kid. And that just for my parents was like, it's our way or the highway. And that was the easiest decision I've ever made in my life. I was like, I'm out. Okay. And so when you were 18 and you started this business, did you have a mentor? How did you know what to never. take? How did you know what to do? To this day, I've never had a mentor to this day. Everything that I've ever done really truly is I am a voracious reader of books. And so there are so many great books out there where people have told you, this is how I did it. These are the mistakes that I've made. And so for me, I think it's Warren Buffett, not I think, it's Warren Buffett who said, you know, people always talk about uh, the the greatest teacher is is life and, and making your own mistakes. And he's like, that actually is not. It's learning from other people's mistakes. That's the wiser decision. And so that's what I have done. I've looked at how other people have built their companies and the mistakes that they have made. And I do my best to avoid those. But going back to the very beginning when I'm like writing business plans, this was something you have to go into the library to do. Like the young people now, I'm like, all y'all got to do is Google. Like a bad business plan hits my desk and I'm somewhat unsympathetic because I'm like, they literally have templates for you at this point. When I was building business plans, I literally had to go into the library and pull out books that showed you how to lay out a business plan. And so for me, every teacher I've ever had, every single one has been from books, things that I've learned. And so you can go back to Carnegie, you can go back to Mellon, Rockefeller, like those are just looking at all the mistakes that they made and the successes, right? DuPont and saying, all right, and, and learning from, the reality is, is if you're learning from anyone who's succeeded greatly, uh, pre-Oprah, they're mm-hmm. white dudes, yes. period, white right? Men. So, yeah, so, so pretty much every person who I learned from, which may be why I can walk into a boardroom that's filled with all white men and not blink, is because that, that's what I learned from, was, was how did y'all build this? How did you all structure this? And now it's just my own remixed version of it.